Today we're hacking on a no hack anarchy server. Oh. Yo, what? The <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't ban me. Hey, Festo here, and welcome back to another Anarchy Adventures video over on the purest anarchy server in Minecraft, Purity Vanilla. And today we are going base hunting yet again, but this time being joined by fellow YouTuber Apersu. Check him out if you haven't yet. What Apersu and I find is something we never expected to come across. And just so you know, these base hunts are always live streamed over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Thesto. So before we begin, please be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. If it turns gray, it'll help me get rid of my crippling depression. Also, if you like this video, give it a like so YouTube picks it up in the algorithm. Thanks. Let's begin. All right, guys, we're base hunting with Apersu. <laughs> That's what they call me. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually my very first uh, live stream event ever. It's true. Well, I got the jitters. I'm a little jittery. I'm not used to this. This is a completely new environment, <laughs> but I'm ready. Right below me, there should be an e-chest somewhere. Okay. In this chunk. So I guess let's start digging. You're gonna have all the really expensive gear, so you're gonna have to help me out mining this crap out. Sure, man. Sure. Just stay stay in the chunk, yeah. I don't know about digging straight down. I do. Listen, we're live. We're live. People are here to see this go wrong. Don't get it twisted. The <laughs> only reason, the only incentive anybody has for live content is that it could go astronomically wrong at any given <laughs> point. So, the riskier we run this, the better the content. Oh, you got it. We got a cave. All right. I'm seeing some activity down here. It's gonna be in this chunk back over here. Oh wait, what's this? You got it. Boom. There's a. Yep. Here, and here's the enchant table. There's the e chest. Oh, we, got, uh, we found a little base. All right. Who's this? We got Xbox. Make me a cake bed. Congrats. You found my base. Well done on seeing through the portal covering. Uh, we, we cheated to find this space. It had nothing to do with the portal. Uh, <laughs> make it a cake, but I no portal it. needed. <laughs> oh, heart of the sea, baby. Let's go. Oh, Let's nice. Go. Yeah, I saw that. We were using the debug profiler graph, better known as Pyray, to find bases. Of course, we found more than just this one base. I have a feeling it's going to be right down here. Maybe. Oh, AFK fishing spot. So this is another, uh, this is an old find. Vintage find. Another vintage. Got it. You got it? You're in? Yep, yep. So this is an older one. This was, he was doing some AFK fishing back when uh, oh, wow. you could get decent loot for it. Hey, it's a cute pupper. Oh. Nah. Sometimes like people hide stuff in walls. So be uh, on the lookout for that too. Like I'll mine out random little bits and pieces. Well, thanks. If, if we're looking to, uh, to take down some walls, I think I've, I've Got a method to, to help us out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Does this base hold any secrets? We will find out. That pursues the uh, TNT guy here. They call me Demolition. All right. Oh, no, the dog! <gasps> Didn't mean to do that! No! We sent him to the farm, thanks. As you can see, the base hunting was going good. We had some small finds, one with good loot like a heart of the sea, but it was nothing compared to what we found later in the stream. So Glaceon Guy, another fellow YouTuber and player who's been on the server for a while, gave me some coordinates of stuff I should check out live on stream at some point. Luckily, Apersu and I were on the same quadrant as two of those coordinates, so we were on our way to check them both out, since they weren't too far away from us. So while we're flying, do you care to explain to people what the hell that, that skin you're wearing is? Oh, this skin? This is my uh, dead pilot skin. So my main has a pilot skin. This one is my dead version because I'm the evil version on this account. So you're a kamikaze pilot on this one. Yeah, they just crash into things. After a short few minute flight, we had arrived at the first location on our journey. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is it. Holy shit. Damn. This is what Glace wanted us to see. Oh my god, dude. This is cool. Fest, get down here. Yo, what? Oh, that is pretty cool. It's, I'd say this could be our, our private portal, but <laughs> I, I think it's everybody's portal now. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this is cool. Whoa. A lot of work went into this. Yo, there's a secret little chest down here. <laughs> That's cool. Watch one of these are admin chests. <laughs> Get banned for chest ESP. We deserve it. Whoa. Dude, there's more. Whoa. We are trotting upon the lands of history, my friend. This is really cool. I actually want to know more about this base now. I fuck with a good base. 
Hell yeah. All right, where's the next set of cords that Glace sent me? This was definitely a pretty cool thing to see, and I was now even more excited to check out the second location of coordinates received by Glaceon Guy. But Apersu and I never actually made it to the second location. And it's not because we got banned, it's not because it was too far and we ran out of XB bottles or rockets or something, nah. It's because we found something we never thought we would ever find. A faction base. And not just any faction base. Ooh, each has just popped up. It's an ocean base. It's directly below me. Oh! Yo, what the? Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo, whole. Is this, cool. is this active? I copped a, a lodestone compass, so we can check wherever that leads. Nice. Hold on, is this god armor? Don't mind if I do. Okay, th this is so far the biggest find I've ever had. And I don't like how easy it was. It <laughs> makes me nervous. Dude, they have a little aquarium here? That is sick. You want to try activating some of those uh, pearls? Uh, we could. See whose it is. It's doubtful any of them are on right now. Um, yeah, the pearls are this way if you want to go to those. No one teleported. No. No one. Oh, wait, what? You know, honestly, we are ruining someone's day doing this. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, I'm just gonna let the others just stay. Yo! Bruh. <laughs> Another <laughs> one? Really? How? This is wild. This is, yeah, this is insane. According to Moosh, it belongs to Rakavan. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, there's banners here. There's two. Oh, one for me, one for you. There you go. Invicta banner. Oh my god, dude, there's so much to explore here. Don't don't go in there because those are, uh, you know, soul sand. But that'll shoot you straight up. I'm oh, assuming fuck. that's the exit. Apersu and I had stumbled upon ESP, or Ender Spawn Portal, a Rakavan spawn base. We were pretty surprised by the find, and were just exploring the base looking for shulker boxes that showed up on the pyrae at the base. Okay, so what they did, and this is actually really clever, they repurposed... Oh, a stronghold, yeah! We still haven't found the shulkers. That's, that's kind of what I'm interested in. They're probably going to be hidden inside walls, honestly. And while I was doing that, Little did we know, we were being hunted. I'm gonna try to narrow it- narrow down the chunk without blowing anything. Oh, up. fuck! I logged! Frost showed up. Frost showed up? Yeah, I logged. Fuck that. Alright, you wanna play Hypixel? A few days after the stream, I went ahead and got in contact with some members of Rakavan to get some more information on this base and what it is. The base featured an end portal, which was first discovered back in February of this year by a player named Constance Noise. Rakavan sat on this portal for a few months, going as far as placing a shulker box of enchanted elytras in front of the portal just to see if anyone had been there or not. And after the fall of bases Rakavan 3 and Rakavan 4, they decided to light the end portal on July 19th, 2021. Rakavan members then began converting the stronghold into the base Apersu and I had discovered. And since the base had been discovered, it would only have been a matter of time someone that was watching the stream would come by and grief the base. Rakavan sent out Frost and Doma to handle the base on their own terms. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Testo signing out. Peace.